Hey guys, Sony Sorry Assassin Assassin. Finally, this is the last of the Gurkha series of Dragon, which continues to chase the Dragon, Dragon W review. And today we are doing the one for AJ Fernandez. Okay. <clears throat> last one, finally. Doesn't look too bad. But there's a little bit damage, so. But let's take a look at this cigar really quickly and we'll get right back to the smoke. Okay, Gurkha, you're the dragon, AJ Fernandez. It is a 6 and 5 8 by 52 box pressed long perfecto or perfecto, how you want to call that. It is $25 a stick, box of 10 when it's released. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano, binder and filler are Nicaraguan. Okay. Box price, green color, looks pretty nice. I like that. It almost looked like a jade looking thing, but without like too much of a coloring to it. Could be looking like a forest too. I don't know. So we'll see how this last one performs and get right to it. And okay, we'll get started on this cigar. Smell like oak and tree and leaf. Yeah. More oaky. Not very cedary, that's the thing. It's tree, it's woodsy, but not cedar. Uh, okay. Uh, the draw. Draw is, oh my God. Okay, it tastes like chocolate. The the cold dry is like chocolate, but apparently I didn't glue the bottom all the way, so I'm gonna glue it a little bit more. I, I want to give this a good best chance possible, and just happened to be the cap was already cracked before I even start, so I have dropped it too many times. There we go. It's all good. Like it never happened. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it tastes like woodsy and chocolate. And like really chocolate chocolate. Like hot chocolate chocolate. Okay. Mm. It's cocoa. -y. White pepper. Wood. There's a sweetness to it that really made that chocolate pop. Oh, pepper. Pepper's ramping up. Pepper's ramping up. Pepper's ramping up. 
A little bit saltiness. A little bit earthiness. A little bit leathery. Just a little bit. Actually tastes not bad. Ooh, it's ramping up everything. Pepper, a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. All right, that's all I got right now. So we'll smoke it down first stir and we'll be right back. So first stir. It's quite good. It's quite complex. It's got wood. It's got earth. It's got leather. It's got saltiness. It's got mixture of some baking spice. Kind of toned down to the bitter side. But it's also got cocoa. It's got cream. It's got saltiness. It's got a little bit of like, I don't know, mineralty. What would you call that? Metal? Metallic. It's like kind of in between. Let me dust this off and take another one. It's got nutmeg. It's got a lot of things going on. And they are all about the same level of flavor. So they kind of work together quite well. Spice toned down because that, that beginning pepper was burning my nose. It's working pretty good. I think that's quite flavorful. I think that's working pretty well. I think it's working with my coffee right now. Uh, I am drinking coffee with this uh, uh, review. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Now, you guys know when I was looking at this cigar, there, there's a little crack in the top. That's probably due to me dropping the cigar a few times for a recording. So I'm not going to ding them for that, right? But... In terms of dark flavor and overall flavor together, out of the four, this one is probably the most put together. And it's AJ, so it's not like you, you're not expecting them to put, you know, a very safe combination together, yet complex together to to get a cigar that's work for everybody. So right now, so far, so good. Okay, so let's get into the second third, and then we'll look at the first band. Be right back. All right, second, third. Now, the cigar continues to taste darker, deeper. It's more of an espresso and has a little bit of a thickness to it. It's not bad, but but it gets closer and closer to a, a Habano, AJ Fernandez of some sort. Like, it has that note. It's very, like, you can, it's like a tell sign that you can tell it's, it's AJ Fernandez, which is not bad. Not bad, but... Uh, that kind of identifiable note makes you less, makes it less special. If that makes sense. Makes it less special. Because you oh, tastes like uh, AJ. You know, a little bit different, but tastes like AJ. So, you know what. There you go. AJ from in this band. These are leafy, like cigar leaf designs, Okay. But from a distance, it makes it looks like a jade with imperfection to it. Jade, imperfection, you know, which looks good in a way. I, I think this is nicely done. They could have used like a lighter color of green to make it look more like a jade, but jade. Okay, so yeah, the second third. Let's get to faster. Be right back. All right, so we're done. We are done. Here's the band for AJ Fernandez. Like I said, it's more different than the rest of them. The rest of them, obviously, do I have a band to show? Come on. Here we go. Now that I look at it, they all have some sort of shape. But because I didn't look deep enough, I didn't see that there is some sort of marking on it. But this marking shows way more for some reason. So it is what it is. It's all about design, right? You look at it, and it's like, oh, I want to choose this color. I want to go with that, you know? AJ that definitely did some, some thought to it. Good job. All right. And the cigar, laster, get a little bit more boring, but again, in an in a, in a AJ fashion that 
it is very flavorful still. Uh, still got woodsiness, still got a little bit of espresso, still dark nose, still a little bit earthy, just a little bit. Um, but woodsiness was in the forefront. Okay. Good cigar. About medium strength, not crazy. I think the cigar is well put together. It doesn't have a lot of luster, but in the typical AJ fashion, it was a cigar that's suitable for everybody. It's safe. Everybody will, might, will probably like to smoke it and enjoy it. Uh, it's not very shine in terms of what's in there, but it's got a little bit for everybody. It's got pepper for everybody. It's got, you know, once that pepper goes off, it's got, you know, espresso woodsiness for everybody. And then in the end, it dropped down a little bit, but still got woodsiness. And who doesn't like woodsiness? All, every cigar has some woodsiness, okay? So I think it's a safe cigar. It's enjoyable. It's probably one of the, one of the better blend in the, in the whole collection. So with that being said, it's still not $25, okay? I will probably give it somewhere at the 18, 18 and a half range uh, to be justified for this. Um, ooh, my lights went off. Uh, to, to give a justified um, experience. And like, you know, just think of it like saying, oh, if any other $18 cigar, this is probably what you'll enjoy it with. It's a good cigar. Okay. So make sure to also check out Eris, uh, Eric's, Eris. Eric's smoke wine. If you have one uh, review on this particular cigar, it is a double review. It continues to trace the dragon. I think I have like two more dragon or three more dragon to smoke and we're done. We are done. This project is an undertaking. Um, we're not going to chase the dragon again, I hope. And, and that will be it for this particular review. I will see you guys in the comments. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share. Tell me about your experience. Check out our podcast. Check out Eric's channel. Check out our swag. Check out our membership. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.